Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video I have something very interesting to show you all. It's a very affordable budget friendly bluetooth soundbar. But this is not just any other ordinary soundbar. The special thing about it is it's a two channel convertible soundbar guys. It's made by Bolt Audio and the model is called as Bass Bar. So what exactly is a convertible soundbar? Let me tell you. So in this box you get two separate speakers guys. So using those two separate speakers you can join them and use it as a single big soundbar or you can use them as individual tower speakers for your TV. That sounds something very unique and awesome right? I'm super excited to unbox and check it out. So let's get started with the video. So here is the Bolt Audio's newest soundbar called the Bass Bar. It comes in this sort of box packing. We've got the Bolt Audio logo here and the model of the product below that. It's a two channel convertible soundbar. That means you get two speakers in the box which you can join together to use as a single soundbar or you can even use them separately as two tower speakers. That sounds awesome right? It's a new design and I'm pretty excited to unbox and check it out. Ok let's see what's written on the box packing. You've got the Bolt Audio branding everywhere, has some pictures of the base bar and over here we've got some info regarding the product. It says this product comes with 1 year of warranty. Alright guys that was our overview on the box packing. Now let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut the seal on the box. I wanna thank Bolt Audio for sending me this product for review. Ok let's open the box and check it out. Oh looks like we've got a lot of stuff over here. We've got a packet of accessories at the top and below that we've got two Bolt Audio base bars. I've told you right they've got a new unique convertible design so you can use them either as a single large soundbar or even as individual tower speakers. Let me just take them out of the box and show you. So here is one of the base bars. It's a bit heavy in the hand. I'll show you in detail about the product in a moment. First let me also take the other one out of the box. So here is the second base bar. Both of them have pretty much the same size and weight. Ok let me remove this outer packing. There we go. So this is how Bolt Audio's new base bar looks like. It comes in this beautiful black color, has a very glossy finish with the Bolt Audio branding on the front. And going to the sides you've got a locking mechanism on one side and nothing on the other side. Let me also show you the other one. So here is the second base bar. It's exactly the same replica with same dimensions and you can easily join them like this to use it as a single big sound bar. So that was our first look at Bolt Audio's base bar. Now before I tell you about that in detail, let me also show you the other accessories we got in the box. You get two stands for both the towers, so you can fix them at the bottom and use them conveniently. And in this white box you get a DC power adapter for the base bar. You need to keep this plugged in to be able to use it. And along with that you also get a remote control to fully control the sound bar, a 3.5mm to 3.5mm audio cable. Two interconnecting cables of different lengths used to connect both the base bars with each other. And finally use a manual. Just make sure to read that for full info on the product. So these are all the items we got in the package. Now let me finally show you the Bolt Audio's base bar. So this is how the sound bar looks like. You've got the Bolt branding here along with their logo. The entire front part is covered in this metal grill while the remaining body is made of high quality plastic and has a beautiful glossy finish all over it. There's nothing on the left side and going to the right you've got the locking mechanism. Now let me tell you about the drivers. Each of the base bar has two drivers built in which you can see through the metal grill over here. It's got two 2 inch full range drivers and a bass reflex port just beside that. Each of these speakers can produce an output of 10 watts so the single base bar can produce around 20 watts of output. Going to the back side you've got a wall mounting clamp and a port to interconnect both the base bars with each other. That's it there's nothing else on the back side. Now let me show you the other one. Even this base bar has the same drivers, two 2 inch speakers and a bass reflex port beside that. The combined output of both the base bars when joined equals to a total of 40 watts as specified by the company. As you can see the second base bar has a control panel over here. Let me show you. It has a power on off button, music play pause, volume up, volume down and even has options like micro SD card slot and even a USB port so you can directly play music from a pen drive. Now let me show you what connectivity ports are available at the back. You've got a port to connect the other base bar to it, some info regarding the product beside that, a cable management hook, this is a wall mounting clamp and over here you've got all the other connectivity ports which include a DC power input and an aux audio input. So that's it guys these were all the available buttons and connectivity ports on it. Now what I'll do is I'll show you how to fix the stands on the speakers so you can use them as individual towers. 
Fixing them is very simple. All you need to do is align them on the bottom side and rotate them just like this. And that's it, your tower speaker is all ready to be used. Let me also fix the other one and show you. There you go, this is how the tower speakers look like. And to use them in the soundbar mode, all you need to do is just remove these stands, align them with each other and rotate to join them. That's it guys, now our bass bar has been converted into a soundbar. It's around 33 inches long and feels quite heavy in the hand. Alright, so that was our complete overview on the product. Now let me connect it to my TV, power it on and show you how the audio on it sounds like. Okay guys, I'm back. I've connected the base bar to my 55 inch 4K Sony TV using a 3.5mm aux cable. Now I'll just play some song and show you how the audio on it sounds like. The audio quality was pretty good for the price point. The mids were crisp and clear and I could clearly hear all the dialogues. The treble quality was also very nice. It was producing smooth treble without any harshness. And coming to the bass, the bass was decent but not the best I've seen in this price range. I felt the bass could have been a bit more punchy. I've even watched up to 2-3 to three movies on it. The experience was nice, the sound stage, the frequency separation was good, but it lacked that punchy bass in scenes like explosions or gun firings, like how you would get on a dedicated subwoofer. But on the overall, for the price what you're paying, the sound quality was decent. The THD was less up to 85% volume level, beyond that you could feel slight distortion in the audio. And the audio output was also loud and would be sufficient for a mid-sized room. Now let me also play some video and show you how the vocals sound on this bass bar. Good morning guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. So today's video is going to be super awesome because I have something amazing to share with you all. Uh, so you guys know that this is my favorite gaming PC, right? The H500P build. It's a quite powerful gaming PC. I really love the looks, the aesthetics of this cabinet. But the thing is, I've been using this cabinet for such a long time. I guess it's around, I guess it's more than a year. And I was really bored of this uh, cabinet, the looks, you know. And I wanted to upgrade the cabinet on my gaming PC. So I just reached out to Cooler Master and told them this is the situation. I'm looking to upgrade the cabinet on my gaming PC. So you guys have something new for me, like any special case or anything new. And guess what? They said yes, they have something very special for me. They said that they'll be sending a very special cabinet for me. And guess what? Today is that day. I finally... Okay, so we know that there are a lot of soundbars in the market. So you guys might be curious to see how does this one stack up to the competition. And for that purpose, I thought, why not let me just compare it with my Mi soundbar and show you the difference. So by watching this video, you'll get a better idea on the Bolt Audio's bass bar. Okay, so you guys saw the difference between both of them, right? So what do you guys think? Do let me know in the comment section down below. Based on my usage, personally what I felt was, Bolt's bass bar was very clear, loud, has good mid and high frequency response, but the low frequency response was slightly better on the Mi sound bar because of its passive bass radiators. Rest everything else was fine. So that was my unboxing and review on Bolt Audio's bass bar. It's a good sound bar with a really unique convertible design. The build quality was nice and was also producing good sound for the price. The only few things I felt were, if it had a little more bass in it, that would have been awesome. And also the company should have provided more connectivity options like optical input, especially considering the competition in the market. The Bolt Audio's bass bar usually costs around 4,999 rupees, but the company is planning on selling it at a discounted price on Flipkart's special 
sale starting tomorrow. So guys, do keep an eye on this product. You might get it at a very good price. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. Well, that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.